हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेशन थ्री ऑफ दिस न्यू टॉपिक नंबर सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस टू टॉपिक्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी हाउ टू प्रेजेंट द रैशनल नंबर्स एंड इरेशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन एनी टू गिवन नंबर हाउ टू फाइंड द डेसिमल एक्सप्रेस ऑफ द रैशनल एंड इरेशनल नंबर्स एंड वट इज द नेचर्स ना टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू प्रेजेंट दिस इरेशनल नंबर्स ऑन द नंबर लाइन सो we have already discussed about the different forms of irrational numbers to be presented and one of them is a real algebraic form or it is called sort form like we have learned already the irrational numbers can be presented as root 2 root 3 such type of forms so how to present those numbers on the number line let us learn now so today's topic is to learn about representation of irrational numbers on the number line okay let us start how to represent an irrational number on the number line i will select a number let us take root 2 so how to represent root 2 on the number line let me find so representation of irrational numbers irrational numbers on number line i have taken it here the example as root 2 so how i'll do now let me take a line first with the help of ruler i will take a line i have selected a line with that line let me choose a point as o suppose this point i have chosen as o at equal distances let me take some points suppose this is my 1 and at the equal distance this is my 2 and this is my 3 now if i select this point as 0 this is representing 1 this is 2 and this point is 3 so this is a number line now in this number line i wanted to present this root 2 on this number line let me select a point 1 and then i will start from this point 1 i will draw a semicircle okay with the semicircle i will find the perpendicular on it so this is a semicircle let me bisect the semicircle and let me join this point to find this right angle okay now i constructed a right angle at here now to find the same point suppose this is this is my zero and this 0 to 1 is one unit let me select this one unit at here and on this line i will cut the same one unit the same one unit let me cut at here now let me give the names as suppose this is zero this zero point i will take as a o this point i will select as a and let me take this point as b now i will join this o and b i will join this o and b by joining this o and b i find a right angle triangle a o b o a b and this in aob this oa this distance is one unit this ab distance is also one unit this is also one unit i have selected one unit and this i have taken also also one unit now this is one unit this is one unit by using pythagoras theorem we can know this is a hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will be 1 square plus 1 square under root and this equal to root to unit now this length represents root to unit if this length is considered as to be one unit so now when it is be one unit so how to bring this root to unit to the number line to bring this root to unit to the number line we have to again select our compass select this point this yeah. length and bring it to here so by this way 
we got root 2 this length selected at here and the arc caught this number line at this point. So this point represents root 2. Now by this process we brought this root 2 in the number line. Okay. So now we understood how to represent root 2 in the number line. Let me repeat again. So this is O, this is A, this is B. I have selected the length OA as one unit. At the point A, I selected, a, uh, I drawn a perpendicular and taken this perpendicular length also one unit. Now from O to B, I have joined. I created a triangle, right angle triangle, OAB, whose hypotenuse I got as one square plus one square. It's under root. It is root two unit. Now this length, I need to bring into the number line. So I selected this point O as the center, OB as the radius. Now keeping this center at fixed by, by, by my compass, I drawn an arc such that OB will be equal to this point. Now I can tell this point, let me call it is a B dash. Because OB and OB dash, both of them are same length because the radius of the same circle. Now this length OB came into the number line. So he from the point zero to this point B dash, this the length is root two unit. And this point B dash on the number line represent root two. So this length I can say it's root two unit. This is root two unit. Okay. So now we learned how we have presented root two on the number line. Now if I want to find root three on the number line, similarly root three on the number line. So how I'll do? Again from the same point, let me find the same point root two I already got on the number line. From that point, let me draw and again on uh, perpendicular on it. So on this point, I can draw a perpendicular through my compass. I can bisect this 180 degree to find a perpendicular there. Now selecting those points, I can draw a perpendicular. Now this point and here I will join to find a right angle. Now this point is the perpendicular. Okay, but I have to again choose this one unit length. How much is one unit from zero to one that I will select again. Selecting that point, keeping on this root two, I will cut a line. Now this point I have to join. When I join this point with zero, zero, I will find is another triangle. Let me take this point as C. Now O, this point is B dash and it is C. So O B dash C is another triangle where this O B dash length is root two unit and it's a right angle triangle. I have taken this point angle is right. So this unit is root two unit. This B dash C is one unit length I have taken. So the length of OC is now became, so it will be root two square plus one square and it's under root. So this will be two plus one that e under root that equal to root three. So now this OC length comes root three unit. And how to bring this root three unit to the number line? For that, I can take my compass I will select this point O as center, OC as a radius and I will draw, I will draw an arc. Here I'll find the arc will cut this line at this point. Let me take this point as C dash. This point is C. So let me take this point as C dash. Now C dash is a point on the number line which represents root three. Now by this process, I brought this root three also in the number line. So now we learned how to represent root two, root three, such so step of irrational numbers on the number line. Similarly, in this process, we can also find by root two, root three, using this same number line, we can also create a square root spiral. That's a design we find in nature also. So let us see how this exists in the nature and how we can construct by using this process. Okay, let me rob it. I will to make it a new pattern. So let us select a line again. Let me select a line at here.
this is my line I have selected at here. So since I have to select it at a point 0 at here, let me take a point here, it is 1 unit. Here another point, it is 2 units suppose. Now with this 1 unit, let me find a perpendicular at 1. As I have seen, how do we have to construct a perpendicular at there? So we can draw. By using this, now we can draw a perpendicular over there. Now this is the perpendicular we have constructed. Now as I have taken this 0 to 1 is 1 unit, I have to again select this 1 unit at here. Let me select 1 unit at here. Now this is my 1 unit. Let me join this point 0 to this point. Okay, so now what I did, I have constructed a line, let me name this point, this point is suppose it is it is 0, let me take this point is O, this point is 1, let me write it is A and this point is B. So I have selected a line and I taken a point 0 at there represented through this letter O. Now at 1 unit I have taken another point, it is B. Now at 1 I have selected a perpendicular, I have constructed a perpendicular and on the length of this perpendicular I taken is again one unit. Then I join this point O to B. I constructed a triangle OAB. In this triangle, what I get, this right triangle triangle, this OB length, I got it is root to unit. I have already seen this is one unit, this is one unit. So this length becomes now root to unit. So let me write it, it is root to unit. Now root to unit, is I have already taken. Now with this root 2 unit, let me find one more right angle and I will draw another line. So at this point, at this point, uh, let me extend this line little more so that it will be easy for me to construct. So at this point, let me draw another right angle at here so that I can extend my line on this direction. Okay. So I will produce this line now to find the perpendicular on that point. So this is my root 2 unit and I extended this unit. Again on that line I have to find one more one unit. I have selected already one unit at here. Let me choose an one unit from here also. Again I have taken this and caught the arc. I will find this point represents let us take C. Now this C B to C is one unit and this angle I have taken as right angle. Now this distance, this OB distance is root 2 unit. Now this is root 2 unit, this is one unit. If I'll join this O to C, what I'll find? This length of OC represents now root 3 unit. This represents now root 3 unit. So in this process I got this is root 3. If I'll go on keeping this same process again, you will find at every point I will construct a perpendicular, I will extend this and in the similar manner if I draw, I will. you will find, suppose let me find a right angle at here and I will take again the one unit there with the same process, this one unit at there, I will cut then if I join the next, I will find it is root 4. This length is now root 4. Now this length is, this is root 3 unit, this is root 1 unit, this is root 3 unit, this is 1 unit, so root, th root 3 plus 1, root 3 square plus 1, this angle is 90 degree I have taken. 
So this line becomes now this length become now this point is d suppose it is become root 4. Root 4 means 2. 2 is a rational number but we have presented through it the number presentation is root 4. Now let us move to the next in the same format if we we'll go on adding right angle set here in every point I will find such type of numbers again in the same direction and how the figures will create let us see let us observe if I'll select the same length one unit at every point at there I will find the next line is E joining E I will find this point is E suppose so in this process if I'll go on continuing I will find there is a spiral. I will find uh, there is a spiral. Okay, so that spiral is called a square root spiral. You can see the picture I've given. So not there, it's a square root spiral. By using this one unit, one unit, one unit, I got root two, root two plus one, I got this root three, root three and one, I got this root four, root four, Again one, I got root five. If you keep on going like this, you'll find there is a square root spiral. So such a square root spiral, I can see in nature also. You can see there is a nature, also we will find the same type of square root spiral. You can see in the uh, slide, there is a picture given, which is exactly look, looking like a square root spiral. If you go on adding many square root spirals, you will find that type of picture is very interesting. Okay, then we'll go to the next. On the number line, there are infinite smaller numbers lying between any two numbers. These smaller numbers can be of two, three or more decimal places. To see or mark such numbers clearly, we use the process called successive magnification of the number line. Here, we use a virtual magnifying glass to enlarge the smaller divisions on the number line. This procedure can be used to visualize a real number with a non-terminating, non-recurring decimal expansions on the number line. Always the irrational numbers are not in this form of this real algebraic form. We can also find the numbers existing in decimal form. As in the last session we discussed, the irrational numbers we have presented through the non-repeating, non-terminating decimal numbers. For example, let me take an irrational number 5.37377 and again 5 and so on. I have taken such a point 3775 and 7775 and so on. Okay, 5.3775, 7, and so on. So next will be 475 and so then so on it will be continuing so such type of numbers are irrational numbers so how to present such numbers in irrational such irrational numbers on the number line so for that we have to select a number line let us see how this can be presented in a number line so let me find a number line at here okay in this number line, let me take a point 5 at here. This point I have selected as 5. And this point I have selected as this point I have selected as 5. And here I will select as a point 6. Okay, so I have selected a point 5 to 6. Then I divided it into 10 equal parts. Okay, so from this 10 equal parts, let me name this. It is 5.1, this 5.2, 5.3. 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5 5.9 5 and it is 6.0. Now from the equal parts, 5.37 lies within 5.3 and 5.4. So in that case, again I have to divide this 5.3 and 5.4 part into 10 equal parts. So through this successive magnification of the number line, I will draw another line to represent this 5.3 to 5.4 part extended. Okay. So here I have selected this point 
5.3 and again at here I have selected a point 5.4 but in the same parts again I divided into 10 equal parts now let me take it is 5.31 this point will be 5.32 this will be 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, here it is 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39 and 5.40. Now again we have to find this 5.3775 lies within which numbers? Up to this point we have seen this 5.3 lies within 5 and 6. Then we came to 5.37 lies within 5.3 and 5.4. We extended this 5.3, we can see, we have extended this 5.3 and this 5.4 part into 10 more equal parts. This 5.3 to 5.4 part we have extended into 10 equal parts. And from that point, again we have find 5.37 lies within which? It, it lies within 5.37, between 5.37 and 5.38. Between those two numbers, it lies. So, between this 5.37, this point, and 5.38, this point, this has to be again extended into 10 more equal parts. Let me do a line at there. If we we'll go on increasing this number of lines like this, let me take it as a 5.37 and this point is 5.38. So if again I will divide the same line into 10 equal parts, for example it is 5.371, 5.372, 5.373, 5.374, 5.375, 5.376, 5.378, 5.379, 5.380, 5.381, 5.382, 5.383, 5.384, 5.385, 5.386, 5.387, 5.388, 5.389, 5.390, 5.391, 5.392, 5.393, 5.394, 5.395, 5.396, 5.397, 5.398, 5.399, 5.400, 5.401, 5.402, 5.403, 5.404, 5.405, 5.406, 5.407, 5.408, 5.409, 5.410, 5.411, 5.412, 5.413, 5.414, 5.415, 5.416, 5.417, 5.418, 5.419, 5.420, 5.421, 5.422, 5.423, 5.424, 5.425, 5.426, 5.427, 5.428, 5.429, 5.430, 5.431, 5.432, 5.433, 5.434, 5.435, 5.436, 5.437, 5.438, 5.439, 5.440, 5.441, 5.442, 5.443, 5.444, 5.445, 5.446, 5.447, 5.448, 5.449, 5.450, 5.451, 5.452, 5.453, 5.454, 5.455, 5.456, 5.457, 5.458, 5.459, 5.460, 5.469, 5.470, 5.471, 5.472, 5.473, 5.475, 5.476, 5.478, 5.479, 5.480, 5.481, 5.482, 5.483, 5.484, 5.485, 5.486, 5.487, 5.488, 5.489, 5.490, 5.491, 5.492, 5.493, 5.494, 5.495, 5.496, 5.497, 5.498, 5.499, 5.500, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.567, 5.568, 5.569, 5.570, 5.571, 5.572, 5.573, 5.574, 5.575, 5.576, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.505, 5.506, 5.507, 5.508, 5.509, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.508, 5.509, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.598, 5.599, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.596, 5.597, 5.508, 5.509, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.596, 5.597, 5.508, 5.509, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.598, 5.599, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.598, 5.599, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.598, 5.599, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.598, 5.599, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.584, 5.585, 5.586, 5.587, 5.588, 5.589, 5.590, 5.591, 5.592, 5.593, 5.594, 5.595, 5.596, 5.597, 5.598, 5.599, 5.510, 5.511, 5.512, 5.513, 5.514, 5.515, 5.516, 5.517, 5.518, 5.519, 5.520, 5.521, 5.522, 5.523, 5.524, 5.525, 5.526, 5.527, 5.528, 5.529, 5.530, 5.531, 5.532, 5.533, 5.534, 5.535, 5.536, 5.537, 5.538, 5.539, 5.540, 5.541, 5.542, 5.543, 5.544, 5.545, 5.546, 5.547, 5.548, 5.549, 5.550, 5.551, 5.552, 5.553, 5.554, 5.555, 5.566, 5.577, 5.578, 5.579, 5.580, 5.581, 5.582, 5.583, 5.
So I want to represent this root x on the number line. So what are the steps to be presented root x on the number line? Okay, let me go for that. So let us select a line, number line first. Let us select a number line first. I have selected a number line at here. Then through this number line, let me find a point here. Let me take this point as minus x. On the number line, this point is minus x. Minus x means if this point you read at it is 3.4, so I have taken it as minus 3.4. Okay, and from this minus 3.4, I will find the length of 3.4 unit from my ruler. I will find this length of 3.4 from my ruler, 3.4 from my ruler, then I will cut a point at here. Now, if this point I will represent 0, if this point I will keep as 0, so from 0, if backwards you will come, this point represents minus 3.4 or you, it can, you can say it is, let me take it as minus 3.4 or you can say it is minus x. Okay, now this point is 0. So from 0, let us take one unit towards the right. Again, I, let me take it as one unit towards the right. I have taken one unit towards the right. Now, this is one unit. This is minus 3.4, this is 0, and this point is 1. So, the distance from this 1, let me take this point, name is O, this point is O, this point is A. This point is, uh, sorry, this point is, I will take, let me take it as P, this is O, this is A. Now, P to A distance is how much? Now, this distance is 3.4 this point is 1, so 1 plus 3.4, this total distance become now 4.4. This total distance become now 4.4. Now, what I will do next, I will do, I will divide this PA length into two equal halves to find this length PA midpoint. To find, in order to find the midpoint of this length PA, I have to bisect it through the perpendicular bisector. Let me draw, take more than half. Okay, so after cutting this, I will find this midpoint. This perpendicular bisector I have drawn only to find the midpoint, no use of that. Okay. So now this is the midpoint of this line A to P. Let me take this point Q. Now Q is the midpoint of A to P. So now taking this Q as center and QA as the radius, if I'll draw a semicircle, I can draw a semicircle. So let me draw a semicircle. Okay, so this is the semicircle I've constructed, taking this Q as center and this uh, QA as the radius. Now, with the semicircle I've constructed, after constructed the semicircle, I will go to the point Oh, where I've taken zero. So from zero, now I will select another perpendicular to be done. So let me draw another perpendicular. So to construct a perpendicular at here, let me bisect this 180 degree. Then let me join this from O to this perpendicular, let me join and I will produce. So the point where it cuts this semicircle, let me name this point as R. Now OR is the distance which represents root x. Now how to bring this OR to the number line? To bring this OR to the number line, again I have to select this point O as center, OR as radius, then this distance I can bring like this to the number line, C. This distance I can bring into the number line in this method. So now here, the point where it cuts, let me take it as R dash. 
Now O R and O R dash both are equal because I have selected O R center. Now R dash represents under root of 3.4 on this number line. Now this is a number line where this is 0, this is 1, this is minus 3.4. This point R dash is under root of 3.4. Okay, in this way we can also represent any decimal number into the uh, any decimal number into this uh, irrational form of any decimal number into this uh, number line. Okay, so this is the way we have to present this irrational numbers on the number line. Okay, so what we learned today, we learned that how to represent the irrational numbers on the number line. We have learned about this uh, presenting uh, root 2, root 3 on the number line. How we have taken by using the Pythagoras theorem, we have taken this root 2 and root 3 in the number line. Then we learned about the successive magnification method to represent the non-terminating, non-recurring decimal numbers to present in the number line. Then any other method, we have used this method to present uh, irrational number of decimal numbers on the number line. So these are the things we learned today to represent irrational numbers on the number line. Okay, so in the next class, we'll discuss about the operations of the rational numbers. Okay, so let us skip this class. Thank you.